We are, though, 42 days away from the official start to winter. <laughs> That's right. The, but who's counting? The winter solstice, and this is a big time for us because we always ask our meteorologists to give us their winter predictions, and they're going to look ahead here tonight. Yeah, and so we have been really studying those trends, what things typically look like during an El Nino year versus a La Nino year here locally, and that kind of helps us predict just how much snowfall we'll see. So our chief meteorologist, Ben Pine, breaks down the forecast for us. Winter is now less than a couple of months away, and we all know Kentuckiana winters can be challenging with the potential of snow, ice, even heavy rain and severe weather. Of course, we are up to the challenge of giving you our 2023-2024 winter weather prediction. But first, let's start with the science of understanding the overall weather pattern we're expecting this winter, and it's all about El Nino. Storm Team meteorologist Alden German explains. You've probably heard about El Nino that is going to influence our winter weather this year, but what exactly is it? Well, under normal circumstances, we see warm water from the equatorial Pacific blown westward into the Oceania region. During an El Nino event, however, that process is slightly reversed and warm ocean water kind of piles up along the western coast of South America. What does that mean for us? Well, it has great influence on our jet stream patterns. That results in generally warmer the normal conditions in the Pacific Northwest and Rocky Mountains, much wetter conditions across the southern half of the United States, and generally drier than normal conditions in parts of the Ohio Valley. But for us here in Metro Louisville, we're in kind of a battleground zone between drier than normal and a wetter than normal conditions. So all it takes is one big storm system to give us a lot of extra snow. That's a quick rundown on how El Nino could influence our winter weather. Now within this overall weather pattern, there are individual storms that can impact our area. Winter storms behave differently depending on where they're coming from. Storm Team Meteorologist Sam Gabrielli shows us that the location and path can make a big difference. During the winter season, you may hear us refer to the term clipper from time to time. A clipper system, otherwise known as an Alberta clipper, is a fast moving storm system that moves southeast out of the Canadian province of Alberta, which is placed right here. The quickly moving clipper then cruises through our friends in the upper Midwest and Great Lakes region. This type of storm system often brings a quick punch of very light snow, dropping one to three inches, gusty wind and colder temperatures to much of the area. Sometimes, though, we like to have a little bit of fun with these storm systems as you may hear us refer to them as Saskatchewan screamers or Manitoba maulers. It's just the same thing. We're referring to the same storm system that did originate. If the jet stream is locked though in a northwest pattern, then we can expect several of these storm systems to swing through during much of the winter months. Therefore, we often blame our friends in Canada for these quick bursts of snow and cold. If you're looking for much heavier snowfall though, it's usually not going to be coming from our friends to the northwest of us. The low pressures that we see that we do pick up very heavy snows in Kentuckiana will come out of the southern plain states and desert southwest. This low pressure has a lot more Gulf of Mexico moisture associated with it, and that gives way to much heavier snow, especially if Kentuckiana is placed on the northern periphery of that low pressure as it drifts north and east. Now each winter around here is different, but we have a lot of data since the late 1800s and we can show you what's most typical for us to get and the extremes. Storm Team meteorologists Colleen Peterson and Christina San Juan show us what would be a normal winter for snowfall and temperatures. During the winter time, of course, we expect it to be cold, but some years are more frigid than others. The average high temperature for the whole season is 46 degrees and the average low is 30. Now, typically, our coldest temperatures of the year come in January, but remember last year's cold snap? It was in December. We didn't make it out of the single digits and experienced some of the coldest wind chills Louisville has seen in 25 years. But let me take you back to the year 1994. It was a record setting January, bringing the coldest temperature Louisville has ever seen, dropping down to a bitter negative 22 degrees. Now, Shelbyville, Kentucky holds the title for the lowest temperature ever recorded in the state, which was felt that same exact year. It dropped to a downright frigid negative 37 degrees. And now, since we're already cold, just thinking about that number, let's talk about snowfall, Colleen. 
Yeah, well, we all want to know how much snow are we going to see this season, and that is a very hard forecast to nail. In case you're curious of the record snowfall in Louisville, it was back in 1917 to 1918 where we got 50.2 inches of snow. The second was in 1977 to 78 where 45.3 inches fell here in Louisville. Breaking it down by month, normal snow amounts in December are around 2 inches. In February, the average amount for snow we see that month is 4 inches. Inches. The starting point of a forecast is seeing what our overall average snowfall is. Across the entire season, our average snowfall is 13.4 inches in Louisville, Kentucky. Ben? With all of that said, let's get back to El Nino, the main winter weather influencer, and we're going to take a look at our official First Alert Storm Team winter outlook. It doesn't appear El Nino has a significant correlation to help predict whether our overall winter weather will be warmer or colder than normal. However, it just so happens that over the last 25 years, four out of the last five moderate to strong El Nino winters have produced a lot of snowfall. Also, I just think we're due for a snowy winter since four out of our last last five winters have been below normal. So our official snowfall forecast is above normal 15 to 20 inches total for the entire snow season coming down mostly in the last half of our winter season. And when the snow hits, you can guarantee we'll be tracking it for you, covering the road conditions live with our storm tracking vehicle, the weather beast with meteorologist Reed Yaden and storm chaser John Humphreys. So this snowier than normal forecast is for you, Doug Profit, and all of the other snow lovers in our area. Well, oh. I, am, <laughs> I am shocked that I had to wait through five minutes. I've been asking Ben about this since July. The and just now, gets, just now gets around to it. <laughs> wanted to build up to this great oh. surprise that you could be getting 20 <laughs> inches of snow, Doug. But, but did you hear Worth what he said? Wait. Okay, now that's spread over time. And he said toward the last part of the winter. You know what that means? It means it melts faster. <laughs> well, also January is our coldest month. But uh, hey, when we reach December, I don't want to hear where's our 15 inches of snow just yet. Just remember that he said the latter half. Well, you both know season. we're overdue. We haven't played mm -hmm. long stretches of Bella Via on this station in many years, so it's time to get it rolling. <laughs> could be the Excited. I love that forecast. That's great, a great job, we do too. you guys. Yeah, hey, it's Christmas early here on WHAS. There we go.